on page 337. Uh, the, the motor table? Yes, sir. FLA there are 13 pages, guys, that are absolutely, without a doubt, the most common pages you turn to over and over and over again. And, you know, you tab your books to death. You got all kinds of stuff on the sides for general locations. You got tabs across the top for table locations. So you got a lot of stuff going on in your books, right? The one place you haven't put any tabs is, well, except for you, is on the bottom. And since you're sitting in front of your book, if you've got a page number that you think is a, you know, an important page number, it's easier to put them down on the bottom. And then, like page 90 and 91 are really important to me. You've got your small conductor rules, you've got your breaker sizing, you've got your tap rules for both fixture taps and, and normal ones. I mean, there's a lot of things that uh, happen on page 90 and 91 that are good info. Breaker sizes, standard fuses, and uh, radius and stuff. Page uh, 115 and 125, two critical pages that are what? Exactly, your two grounding tables, the two really important ones. You got, um, of course, on your motors, there's about six of them that are really important. And then I've got a tab back here on the back where I've got my you know, formulas and things so that I've got a fast reference to where I've got my, you know, my math notes. And, and it's real clean, it's real simple. And I've got uh, three of them up here. I'll try to, if I, I'm going to try to find the rest of them. And uh, I'm going to give you that one. And who else wants one for sure? Are you? I'm good. You good? Thank yeah, you, you got plenty of tabs. Okay. And if anybody else wants, I gave you one already, right? And you probably didn't get one, but I'll get you one. Pass it to the back, would you? And then during the break, I'll get some more. It just printed. has the page number. It doesn't tell you what it is. Correct? And so what goes with that is, um, and I only have these left. I used to have a bunch of different colors. Actually, you know, I do have. Um, okay. I used to just use the green for the ground and bonding, but in this case, you have to use both green and, and yellow. What you want to do is put those on the bottom and then take these little uh, stickers and fold them over in half, but leave them sticking out just a little bit on the trailing edge of the bottom of your page. That way you can kind of hit your thumb on them, right? But you'll write down right here in just initials, whatever, like an EGC will be EGC, and you'll put that right next to page 115. That way, as you're flipping through, you can kind of remember what's there. You know, the page, those 13 pages are so important that you'll use them about once or twice, and you'll remember what they are. Because 337 is where you're at right now on the FLC table. You got one for 337 because it's just you know, use it not only for motors but all kinds of load calculations and stuff. So I'm going to pass these sheets out. Use whatever you want. I also, in case anybody wants to, I've got some I've got some small little dots that have different colors. I like to use. It. I noticed somebody had some dots on their page that they'd done in pen or something too. But um, it's kind of the same idea. If you have a table like on this page right here, we're on 337. You've got three tables there. You want, to, you want your eye to go to the one that's important and, and forget the rest of them. So these dots, you can just put them next to the tables that are important. If you've got a note that you think is really critical somewhere, you want to make a, you know, a dot on it. It's, it's good to kind of notate your notes, if that makes any sense, right? And then you can use these as well if you want. It's really kind of up to you. I've got uh, these little arrow st uh, stickers, and they're permanent. So you pull them off, and they're, they're real good sturdy uh, PVC plastic uh, arrows. So... What I like to do on those is put them across the either the bottom edge of something that's really important, or you can even use them to call out in the margin so you can put them next to tables that are important or whatever. But uh, it's really anything I've got that you guys want to you know try or whatever you can. And then of course I've got the you know those stand by the uh, gold foil stars, and they work even better than anything. I mean, they may look like you feel like you're grading yourself and give yourself a good a, a good uh, good grade for something. But all of that, guys, it's up to you. I've got some uh, some. Uh, these MI stickers that are in this bag, they're uh, left over from an old batch, and so if you uh, uh, want one or two of them, or if there's some that you're struggling on, you're welcome to, to take them, whatever, it doesn't matter. And then I've got some oddball stuff, like some leftover of the, somebody else's uh, tabs that you know, kind of match the new ones we got or the old ones you've got there. So anyway, y'all are always welcome to have anything that uh, is up here, just kind of take them as you need them. And, and uh, there's an example of, you know, writing the EGC and the GEC, just pass that back.